Hello guys, welcome to Solid Tutorial. Now we shall see stateless behavior and uh, stateful behavior of of web application. Stateless behavior and stateful behavior of web application. What is the meaning of stateless behavior? And what is the meaning of stateful behavior? So the meaning is that during a session, during a session, if web application is not capable of remembering client data during a session if your application is not capable of remembering client data across the multiple request then it is called as stateless behavior of your application what is the meaning of this that means while processing current request while processing current request in your application we cannot use we cannot use previous request related data or information in my current request in my current request this nature is called as stateless behavior this nature is called as stateless behavior so again the question is so i can conclude this so by default by default by default all the by default all web applications are stateless web application by default all web applications are stateless web applications again this is a question again this is one more question as well as we have the answer in next session i will proceed for question and answer why all web applications are stateless by default why all web applications are stateless by default okay and how to overcome this problem what is the stateful what is the stateful stateful behavior of the web application during a session during a session if web application is able to remember client data across the multiple request then it is called as stateful behavior of web application so during a session if web application is able to remember client data across the multiple request then it is called as stateful behavior of web application that means that means while processing current request while processing current request in a web application we can use previous request related data or information data or information as i said to you by default by default all web application all web applications are by default stateless web applications so how to make stateful web application to make a stateful to make web application as a stateful web application to make web application as a stateful web application we need to work with the session tracking or session management techniques session tracking or session management or you can call session handling techniques session handling techniques okay so let me give you practical implementation what is stateful and stateless so at least i can provide now at least now i can explain what is stateless so static form page okay fine let me go for dynamic form page this is one of the example for dynamic form page so let me run this application let me run this web application so wait until it has to start so this application generates dynamic form page this application generates dynamic form page so let me go for this example web application so if you observe this dynamic if you observe this image in this in this image you will find browser window contains details.html when the user fills amol and for, uh, name as amol age as a 45 and marital status as a married as a checkbox and hits the submit button and hits the submit button now this user has selected married if it is married then this request one will be gathered by solid one program of a generated dynamic form page web application and based on if it is married generates the dynamic form page this is form 2 this is form 2 it will demand for asking generate dynamic form page contains spouse name or husband name and number of children contains spouse name Gita and 4 he submitted this dynamic form page dynamic form page and when, when he clicks on submits generate dynamic form page web applications gathers the request and sends to solid 2 because we have configured action tag in the form page of dynamic form formats SRV2 so SRV2 will gather that request and sends the dynamic web page. So dynamic web page will be able to process this dynamic form page data. Dynamic form page data or you can call form page 2. So here I made mistake. So open with edit, open with paint and let me change. Here. So here not request 1. So let me change here request 1 to request 2. Did It's not request 1. It's a request 2. Okay. Fine. And let me add here request 2 so here is 2 
request to and is form to or as well as request to form to or request to okay fine so yeah fl1 now here form 1 or request on data this form 1 and request on data is name is null age is null and married is null so whereas form 2 data that is geeta and 4 it is visible here so let me explain this one with the help of browser window so here i am entering what is the, what is what are the parameters are configured here i think uh, amol and fortify amol and fortify so here is amol and age is 45 amol and 45 so marriage status is married when i hit this continue when i hit this continue so you can see here it is generating dynamic form page dynamic form page if it is married now he has entered geeta and number of children enter 4 submit so you can see here name is null age is null and marital status is null so so with the help of this explanation uh, but uh, here first form data is not accessible or not able to read by second request request 2 whereas second form data dynamic form page dynamic form page form 2 geeta and 4 is visible geeta and 4 is visible so this means that this means that while processing current request, while processing current request, that is request 2 in web application, we cannot use previous request, that is request 1 related data or information. This nature is called as stateless behavior. This nature is called as stateless behavior. Okay. Now here, now here we entered about dynamic form page for husband and number of children. Number of children. So here, let me enter localhost. Localhost and let me enter one once again now here now i'm entering suppose someone and uh, age suppose if i enter here 19 and she's not married she's not married continue now you can see here in the first form where user has selected marital status as married marital status as a married and in the second form in the second form marital status is null marital status is null okay there is no marital status nothing is there so here is married here is not married means single so you can see here with respect to this dynamic form page you can see a spouse or husband name dynamic content is generated here also dynamic content is generated if it is not married when to marry maybe somewhere after 10 years or uh, after 20 years after 20 years why to marry uh, just life survival life partner so here I enter life partner now when I hit the submit so you can see here first form data is not available or request one data is not available but whereas request two data is available here also when I hit the submit request one data is not available whereas request two data is available so this is called as stateless behavior of a web application this is called as stateless behavior of the web stateless behavior of the web application so let me conclude so by default all web applications are stateless stateless web application again the question is here why why the why all web applications are stateless by default and how to overcome how to overcome so what is the stateful as reverse of stateless during a session if your application is able to remember the client data across the multiple requests then it is called as stateful behavior of a web applications okay so so here this example applications this uh, this example scenario of stateless behavior of web applications nothing but the above web applications that is just now i explained where solid to solid program is getting the request from client but fails to read but it fails to read and use request one data that is name that is name name comma age comma marital status marital status that means web application is failing to use previous request data while processing current request data why because why because this above whole discussion denotes that web server web server always treats browser window as a new client for each request web server i am repeating once again web server always treats browser window as a new client for each request even though 
same browser window is giving multiple requests to same server web application okay so this is about stateless and stateful behavior of the web application and by default all web applications are stateless so why 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 web applications are stateless web application by default and how to solve how to solve the next entry question